we're gonna use is we're gonna cut in half one avocado oh and we have a guest <laughs> today uh, yeah <laughs> um we have one half of a lemon and then we have st some tomatoes and some onion okay so first step I'm gonna get a fork I'll make it and a tip when you're making guacamole always keep the seed in it <laughs> because it keeps it so it keeps it good also because the lemon keeps it good too and it gives it good flavor but even though the seed is in it it'll still be yummy and you you'll have a lot so it keeps it good how it keeps it good so it doesn't like get all like brown mm -hmm. and it keeps it all green because mm -hmm. when it's brown it's not that good it doesn't taste good it makes you think it makes your brain think it's not good anymore, and then you don't want to eat it. We're gonna scoop all that avocado out into a bowl. And you could use as many avocados as you want, depending on um, how, like how big of something you want to make. Okay, first thing after that, we're gonna mush it up in this bowl. Mm -hmm. But if it if you have like a, if you're gonna have a party and you need like a lot, then you could use like two avocados. Yeah. This is just for me and my mom. Maybe my grandma if she wants some. If you haven't seen um me making the episode of Dream Big when I make Sundays, then you should watch that one because you'll know who my grandma is. Oh, and we forgot a very important ingredient. Ajo, which is garlic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Me and my mom speak Spanish a lot. That's a very, very important ingredient. Most important ingredient. I like the onion the most. And you could use um, pink sea salt. It tastes really good. I'm going to crack this garlic with a knife. So I have a tip. We're using a cutting board, but if you get the cutting board, you could um, press your knife, a giant, a big knife down and go like this and go... Like, and just hold it down with all your muscle, and then it cracks the shell, so you don't have to... It cracks like the... It makes a little hole, so you can feel it better. If you're wondering if you... If you feel like you've seen my mom from somewhere, she has her own YouTube channel. <laughs> it's called Denaya Adichiga, that's her name. <laughs> and... But... Also, she has a band called The Corner House. It's not hers exactly, but she's in a band. And you can find it on YouTube. Make sure you put the. <laughs> there's a lot of things that people have done, and they don't put the. They just put corner house, and it's on um. There, it's on Spotify too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna put the big piece first, and then okay. all the little ones. I'm gonna mash okay, it with I'll this hold, hold it. masher. Oh, you're gonna need a knife. Here's this or a fork, whichever one. I cannot. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Okay, let me scrape it off. Exercising with you paid off. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna I mix. I brought up the lemon squeezer for you. Oh, and we have fresh lemons in our front yard, so we got a fresh one, and we're gonna get some lemon squeezing we're mixing up the garlic so we're gonna i like a lot of lemon in mine oh. Corey, not so much okay you just sprayed my hand sorry oh, we got to wipe this <laughs> this is how we how we do in the kitchen huh we have a lot of fun we get messy we you could use anything really but anything might be a little weird tasting. <laughs> so I prefer like, ow. I just scratched myself right on the leg okay. <laughs> with the tray mat. But you could use like tortilla chips. Mm. Those are delicious. Mm -hmm. And especially if they have salt on it. Mm -mm. Nom, nom, nom. A lot of chips now are not having a lot of salt. And I 
get mad of that. What uh, my mom is also cooking carne asada right now. I don't even know what it is exactly, and I don't like it at all. You can already <laughs> tell by the way it smells and looks. It's meat. It's beef. Yeah, then definitely no, no. No, no for the cocoa. <laughs> Can't open. Oh, never mind. I'll do these. I'm only adding a. I prefer to add a little pepper. If you like spicy food, then you could add a lot. It's your opinion. And okay, now I'm gonna mix it up. Mmm, -hmm. looks delicious. And make sure there's a taste tester in your room, wherever in the room you're making this. Who's that? Probably gonna be me for today because <laughs> I love food. <laughs> but and it's weird to me because I'm the only person that like in my family basically that likes the crust of my pizza too. I'm the only <laughs> one that eats the crust. <laughs> so I'm I always eat every single part of my pizza except for the cheese. I take off the cheese. What was that? <laughs> okay, now we're gonna add some onion. Okay, I have this onion. <laughs> and if you saw my nails, try to guess who did it. This is supposed to be a Perel thingy, but it got chopped off because my fingers are too tiny for it. And then I have these sparkly nails on both hands. I don't have the Perel thing though. It's just plain glittery. But you can comment down below which one you who you just made go, go. I got that done from. And then now we're gonna add some tomato. You could chop them up whatever size really but I prefer like little cubes. I won't eat any vegetables unless they're how my grandma chops them up or <laughs> Like, it's little cubes. I like little cubes of vegetables, like cucumbers and stuff. I'm sure if it's a grandma thing, but my grandma and a lot of my other gram and my other grandma too, from my dad's side, both make everything look delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the thing about guacamole is that everybody likes it different. Some people like it really smooth. And some people sometimes add salsa to it. Yeah, ooh, that sounds good. And they add green salsa so you don't know that it has salsa in it. Oh, because it blends in, huh? And if you, add, if you were to add red, it would make like a weird, like brownish, purplish color. Are we going to have some tortilla chips from, I don't know. It's, Somebody brought them for us, so I don't know where they got them from. I'm going to rock these for us because you can't go anywhere. And this is uh, like really good for like parties. Like if you, if you have like, a friend, you're throwing a surprise party, you you could make this and it'll be really delicious. Oh yeah, that's a party, that's a crowd pleaser for sure. Especially if you add lots of garlic. What do you think, Cor? Can I do the mama taste test? We need two more things. You're making her face like it's not. Oh, it's not your best. It's not how I like it. Why? More lemon and more salt. Okay. I I like it salty and lemony. <laughs> but if it's too much, then it makes my mouth tingle mm. and it tastes spicy. Creamy. Why don't we put that second avocado in there? Why? To make more. Okay. And then you can add the rest of those onions and tomato. Mmm, so good. So, so good. And you could add as much salt and pepper as you want. You could add as many avocados. I'm gonna use two for this one. It is very oniony, but it's creamy and delicious. Mm -hmm. And that's why you keep the seed in because even though the onion and the lemon keeps it like from staying brown, from get from getting brown, it still can be a little different than you would expect. I'm gonna add some more lemon. And also the lemon keeps, the lemon and the salt makes it like, 
it preserves it and it makes it all creamy and smooth. So smooth it was because it was, um, it's because of lemon juice. The lemon juice was, makes it like smooth and not as lumpy. Now I'm going to taste test it again. Let's see. I think I do want to add the other avocado because it's yeah. really spicy. <laughs> That's something you want to be careful with. Because if you add too much onion, mm -hmm. it can be a little spicy. If you add too much garlic, it That's can fine. be... Can you help me with that? Mm -hmm. But it's still really delicious. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep on getting more. Where's the knife? Here it is. Let me show you all how to cut an avocado. At least how we do it. You want to make sure it's nice and soft, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to you don't want a hard one because then it won't taste very good. You're gonna cut down the middle, all the way around the the seed, and then you just twist, and then that's how you scoop it. Go ahead and scoop it, Cor. And if you're you know? at home wanting to um like make this, but you you're like, like if the person in your house that's a grown up is sleeping or something, you can make this by your own if on your own if you know how to cut the avocado. They might need a bigger bowl. We're gonna transfer all of this. Can you help me with that part? Yeah. And in the next episode, you're gonna get to meet my cute little baby duck. She's not really a baby, but she has. She can be really impatient sometimes. Oh yeah! Now I can squish it. Not to worry. Ooh. So we transferred it to this big bowl. It's matching it up right now. It's a little hard to show everyone, show you, and <laughs> like match it, but I think that'll be good. Okay, so it's all smooth. It should look like this if you want it to. You can make it smoother if you want, or make it lumpy. Whichever. I prefer it smoothish, lumpyish. Half and half. Okay, so I'm adding the tomatoes. Just add what you added before. Yeah, and the thing about guacamole is that you can just make it anywhere. your own. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you can make it anywhere as long as you have all the ingredients you want. There's no like right or wrong way to make it as long as you have your avocados. Your salt and pepper. Sometimes we're out of onions, so we'll just make it with just the tomato. And if you don't have tomato, you don't need tomato. This time we're going to put le um, lime because we had an extra lime here in the house. And it's sour. And lime gives it another flavor too, like a citrusy flavor. So it's, re it's really smooth. I think we can also get more. See, there's a little bit left, so we're going to try to scoop every little bit because we don't want to waste any of this delicious fruit. This is avocado is actually a fruit and all this... It, this is look at how much I got left out. Anything that has a seed. You also have to make sure you clean up after yourself when you cook, right? Because yeah. it's not just your mom's responsibility to clean up <laughs> after you. Because like if you if like the grown up of your house like that's in your house like wakes up and from if they were napping <laughs> and then they see a big mess they're gonna be like what happened here? Yeah, part of the part of the responsibility of cooking is also cleaning up after yourself. That's what we always say, right? <laughs> This is how it looks. Mm. It's really creamy. Um, you don't have, if you add a second avocado, I prefer not, if you're making like th with one with three avocados, I prefer to add like one seed or two seeds to make, keep it good because there's a lot. But you should usually only use one. It's missing one thing. What? <laughs> More salt? I'm gonna mix in some more salt. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 